bounds. What's up guys? This is again your friendly turkey neighbor, Gideon Buniel. And let's continue our Arduino tutorial for beginners. And for this lesson 1, we will be controlling LED by button. Introduction. In this experiment, you will learn how to turn on and off an LED or light emitting diode by using an input-output port. Here, the input port of the Arduino Uno board is used to read and the output of an external device. Since the board itself has an LED connected to pin 13, so you can use this LED to do this experiment for convenience. Components used. We have one Arduino Uno board, one USB cable, one button, one 10 kilo ohms resistor, jumper wires, and a breadboard. For the principle, buttons are a common component used to control electronic devices. They are usually used as switches to con connect or disconnect circuits. Although buttons come in variety of sizes and shapes, the one used here is a 12 millimeter tactile button as shown in the following pictures. Pins pointed out by the arrows of the same color are meant to be connected. As you can see, we have blue color and blue, uh, red color arrows. So this is the connection of our button. When the button is pressed, the pins pointed by the blue arrows will connect to the pins pointed by the red arrows. Generally, the button is directly connected in an LED circuit. In order to turn on or off the LED, this connection is relatively simple. However, sometimes the LED will light up automatically without pressing the button, which is caused by various interferences. In order to avoid these external interferences, a pull-down resistor is used. That is, to connect a 1 kilo or 10 kilo ohms resistor between the button port and ground. It is used to consume exter external interferences while connected to ground for as long as the button switch is turned off. This circuit connection is widely used in numerous circuits and electronic devices. For example, if you press any button on your mobile phone, the backlight will light up. For this lesson, we have four steps to follow. Step 1, build the circuit as you can see here. Step 2, program. Please refer to the example code. Step 3, compile the code. Step 4, upload a sketch to the Arduino Uno board. Now press the button and LED on the Arduino Uno board will light up. To follow these experimental procedures, please refer to the video. So these are the things that we need. Arduino Uno board, USB cable, button with its cap, 10 kilo ohm resistor, connecting wires jump or jumper wires, and breadboard. So let's start with implementing the lesson one. And let's put on the button here, as you can see. Okay, I've put it in the middle. Okay. Next one is the resistor. Let's put the resistor at this end. So there are two wires here. So let's put it here and connect it to the ground. Okay, it's now attached. So let's attach the black wire. Ground is here. There's also ground on the top. So ground connector here and then 5 volts 5 volts here here I use red wire for the 5 volts let's connect it to the other end of the button and then this goes for the pin number 12 since that will be the assigned pin number for the button communication so 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 so this is 12 let's put it on top of the feet before the resistor connects okay this is the connection by the way connection here 
and then let's upload some code here attach this here and let's try to upload some code By the way guys, before you upload the code, please select the proper board. So under tools here, select what board you are using. Mine is Arduino Uno, so let's check it Arduino Uno. And usually the, the port is automatically selected. So here, it's COM, um, COM4, COM4, Arduino Uno. But if it's not selected here, you select the proper um, serial ports, okay? That's it. This is the program uh, for controlling LED by button and our key pin is connected to pin 12 and our LED is the default pin number 13 so we declare key pin as input and LED pin as output so this is the avoid usually it's stated on the voice setup if you want uh, pin assignments so you write it first before the void setup so this basically this is the structure of the arduino so pin 12 again and pin, pin 13 if you want to declare it so this is a global um declaration for void, void setup you indicate whether the pin is output or it input so we have this word pin mode and pin mode for the void void loop so this is um where the algorithm of the program runs over and over and over again so void setup is run once and void loop is from the word it's loop so it will continue to run until whatever is written inside the loop is implemented so if digital pin a digital read key pin so it reads uh, the digital um as pin assignment of the key pin if you press it it's automatically high so if digital read key pin is equal to high so and inside the if is digital write led pin high so digit in digital write you indicate whether it's on and off using high as on low as off okay so since the code here is LED pin comma high, so this is the syntax, it means that when the button is pressed high, the LED will light up high. And then the partner of if statement, so this is an if if else statement. So if not pressed else digital pin, LED pin is low, so turn off LED. Basically, that's the uh, structure of our code. We have uploaded the code already. Once we press the button, it should um, light up the built-in LED in pin number 13. So let's try. Okay, can you see it? Okay. So... Pressed, not pressed. Okay, that's it. So we just learned how to control LED using a button. And for our next episode, we will control this LED using pulse width modulation. Stay tuned!